Good morning, early morning, Sunday, day 112, 422.18, Sunday morning, just got done doing some deliveries and we're up early. Uh, I want to get this video out to you guys and I had really two thoughts, but uh, we'll stick with criticism, right? The fear of criticism. Now, this is important because uh, if you're a mover and a shaker, you're going to draw attention to yourself right and that's why a lot of people don't do anything in life because they're afraid of number one the scope of uh, criticism or the you know the magnifying glass over their life and then number two you fear people are going to reject you all right and so really it's fear of criticism and rejection they go hand in hand if you google rejection if you google criticism they typically come up together but we just want to stick with the fear of criticism first of all you can't be afraid of criticism it's going to come Right, you go. You have any kind of ambition at all in your life? Watch this. Uh, 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 one of my first mentors told me this when I was in like, I'm talking elementary school, and I used to go out and help him do his. He had a he had a farm basically in the back of his yard, but it was a garden. When I mean by farm, we had corn, all kinds of stuff, right? So we do all types of farm work in the back of his house, planted corn, shucked the corn, some uh, potato work, just interesting things, right? And he always said this. He said, he said, Earl. The nail that sticks out the farthest gets hit hardest. Gets gets hit the hardest, right? So the nail that sticks out the farthest gets hit the hardest. And I didn't really understand that until I got into high school. Then I got into really college. Uh, the more aggressive you are as far as having and knowing what you want to do out of life, people look at you as trying to be better than them. And that's no. I, I, my only competition is me. I tell people. I don't have any competition. I compete with, with myself, okay? I measure uh, against what my goals are and how close I get to them. So day 112, 422, Sunday morning, early morning, Sunday morning, fear criticism, okay? And I'm going to give you uh, really five or six points on, on how to kind of get over this fear criticism. And, and this is kind of a freebie. Well, this is point number one. Criticism is going to come, all right? So just stop it. It's going to come. So if you need to cry a couple days straight, go ahead and cry. If you need to go run a couple days straight, get your mind wrapped around criticism, right? It's going to come. Now, after you realize it's going to come, first of all, you need to decide who has the authority to properly criticize you, right? Because everybody and their mom and their dad and their grandparents, nieces and nephews, cousins, everybody doesn't have the authority to criticize you, all right? You have to determine in advance who has the authority to actually criticize you, right? Okay, that's the first, second point, right? Third point, all right? Uh, we kind of talked about this before. If you do anything, anything worth salt, anything worth the salt that you shake on your fries, it's going to be criticized, right? So anything worth doing or anything that is uh, admirable, it's coming, right? So so we talked about that, right? Uh Number three, or, well, actually, this is four, right? Check this out. You cannot avoid it, right? Now, let's make sure you understand this, right? Criticism is unavoidable, right? What do I mean by this? The only way to avoid criticism is by do, not doing nothing at all. And guess what? That's not you. If you're watching this channel, if you're, you're a subscriber, you're an entrepreneur, you're someone who's climbing the corporate ladder, guess what? You're making moves and you're making things happen. So guess what? You're not going to avoid it. So learn how to watch this. Once again, what did I say before? Right? What did I say before? You decide in advance who has the authority to criticize you. Right? So you can't avoid it. But you decide in advance who has the authority to criticize you. Right? Now, here's a big one. All right? Uh, don't be a people pleaser. Okay? Don't be a people pleaser. Or another way of putting it is... Uh, don't try to do things for people's approval, right? You do things so you can become better, right? You do things so you can uh, become a, what, what do we say, expert, master, superior performance, right, earlier in the year. So you're not looking for someone to give you approval on what you're doing. You're looking for someone to give you input on how you can improve, right? So that's, that's valuable feedback, all right, so understand feedback and criticism. That's what you're looking for, viable feedback, right? Okay, now watch this, right? If you've got somebody in your life that's just belligerent, that's just out of control, right? Everything, you turn around like a coworker, right? Or maybe you're like me, okay? There's a couple of people around this region that that's in the sauce game, right? 
and some people always got other people's names in their mouth, right? So you can't control that. You can't get away from them. So guess what, guess what you can do? You can moderate how you accept that, right? You can moderate how you allow them to affect you, right? What do I mean by that is this, deal with them up front. Say, hey, man, wh why is it that every time something happens, you know, you have something to say? I said, I don't mind us having a conversation. I don't mind you talking about my company because we're both in the same business, right? We sell sauces. We sell salsas, gourmet dipping sauces, whatever, right? We're in the same line of work. We sell condiments. But why is it every time I turn around, you're talking about me, right, to someone else? Or uh, you have everything you have to say is negative, right? So deal with it face up. All right. If you can't control it, deal with it face up. All right. And then here's a big one and we're done for the day. Right. Check this out. Uh, do not focus on the short game. All right. Do not focus on their words. Focus on your goals. Right. Do not focus on uh, pit stop, if you will. Say you do have a bad week. So you do. So you mess up. Right. And, and let's say you do something that's worthy of tremendous uh, negative feedback or tremendous is there such a thing because all feedback is positive to me but anyway that's a separate conversation but check this out what if you do say something or do something that people have a reason to talk about you right well check what watch this one focus on the end game or some people call it in literary work the conclusion of the matter right don't focus on the criticism focus on the end game all right, because you're going to have mess ups, like I said yesterday, you're going to have failures, you're going to have disappointments. So don't focus on people trying to tear you apart. It's it's coming. All right. So don't even worry about it. It's coming. All right. It's your man, Earl, Deuces Wild 22. Today's 112, day 112, 422, Sunday morning, early morning. God bless you. Hope you find yourself uh, on a good day today. Go find yourself a place of worship, the Most High God. It's your man, Earl, www deuceswild22.com fear of criticism okay one get over it if you do anything worthwhile it's coming all right and these aren't in order i'm just repeating myself matter of fact i'm not going to repeat myself because play the video again it's your man earl god bless you fear criticism day 112 in the bag 422 2018 peace